Hello and welcome to the very first PowerPoint project for Sam. So this one is 1A. I have the instructions printed. So I'm going to follow along with my instructions and complete the project here. You're more than welcome to have yours open as well and pause this video so you can complete the steps along with me in this video. Now make sure when you save your project, you, you save it as underscore 2 rather than underscore 1 so that you can submit it to Sam for grading. Alright, so for step one, you are working on a presentation for Great Lakes Gardening, an organization that helps people in the Midwest establish vegetable gardens. Start by formatting slide one as follows. A. Change the subtitle font color to orange accent two. This is your title. This is your subtitle. So they want you to change the font color. So I'm going to select the font. And the font color, if it if it pops up here and you catch it, good. If not, up here in the font group on the home tab, you just click here into the font color. And it's orange accent two or six column first row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six column first row. B, change the subtitle font size to 28. So while it is still selected, I'm going to change this here to 28. Number two, on slide two, create a bulleted list in the left content placeholder with the following text. So the left content would be this one here. All right, so I'm just going to click outside. Now on slide three, proportionally resize the picture. So we'll go to slide, slide three. Here's our picture. Proportionally resize the picture so that it is approximately 4.5 inches wide, and then use the smart guides to position the picture as shown in figure one below. So we'll click on the picture, and when we do, we get picture format up here, which is an extra tool. If you don't have the picture selected, nothing shows up here. If you click on the picture, then you get picture format. Click on that picture format, and over here on the right hand side it says size. So it wants it as 4.5 wide, so in the wide section type in 4.5. If your computer is in centimeters and not inches, you should go to my YouTube channel now and check out the video on how to change that. If you want to do it quickly just to get this project done, if it is in centimeters, you can always put in the double quotation marks after what you're typing, click enter, and it will automatically change it. It'll convert it from inches to centimeters right here. So it'll show up as centimeters, but if you've typed in 4.5 in that inches sign and click enter, it'll be the right dimensions. All right, so the next step is to use our smart guides. So I'm looking off figure one, and I'm just seeing now. There we go. Where's, where to place it. Number four, duplicate slide three so it becomes the new slide four and then edit the new slide four as follows. So I'm going to duplicate it. So that means I have to right click on it and hit duplicate slide. Now I get the same slide again and it says on the new slide four, change the slide title to where should the garden go? Change the bulleted list here to full sum. Plenty of water. Good soil. On slide five, change the slide layout to title and content. So we go down to slide five and we click on layout up here and we change it to title and content. Number six, with slide five still displaying, italicize the word north in the last bullet to emphasize the word. So here's my last bullet. I need to highlight that word and click on the italics button right here. Number seven, on slide six, 
create a multi-level bulleted list in the content placeholder with the following text. Divide plucked into small bits. Now they want you to create the multi-level bulleted list. So that means once you click enter and you're down here, hit your tab button and it'll bring you in one level. Now type your, the rest of your text there. Now when you click enter, you're going to end up on that, that multi-level again. Click your backspace button twice, oops, once, I think, and it should bring you back. So a way to bring your, your multi-level back out is to use this button here decrease the list level or it's like the opposite of a tab. So you're bringing it back out here. So you can click tab or you can also hit this button. It'll bring it in and that one brings it back out again. Number eight says after slide six, insert a new slide seven using the section header layout. So while I'm on six, I'm going to click new slide and hit the bottom there so I can choose section header. Now that's my new slide seven. Enter backyard gardens in the title placeholder. Enter next steps in the subtitle. Number eight, move slide eight so it becomes the last slide in the presentation. So we'll click on eight and click and drag and bring it down to be the last one. Number 10, on the new slide eight, bold the text in the first bullet. To draw attention to this suggestion, number 11 with slide eight still displaying in the right content placeholder. Insert the picture support basket, which you downloaded as a support file. So, there's a picture, so we'll click here and we'll find the support file. Typically, when you download from SAN, they go to your downloads folder. Number 12, apply the wipe transition with a duration of 0.5 seconds to all slides in the presentation. So that's a transition. We'll go up to the transition tab. We'll click wipe. And the duration right now is one. We're going to drop that down to 0.5 and click apply to all. Number 13, Great Lakes Gardening is updating its market materials and wants to keep the design of the presentation as basic as possible. Apply the office theme to simplify the presentation. So we'll go to design. Here are your themes and we're just going to choose office. All right, make sure it looks like your instructions show on the last page there. Save it again with underscore two as your name and you can submit it for grading.